is going on, guys? Welcome, 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 everybody. This impromptu live stream of Kraken Geodes. Welcome back to the channel. So this is my soil pipe cutter. This is Betsy. What is up everybody welcome back to the channel happy monday happy fourth of july to those here in the states if you missed this saturday's live geode kraken i'm gonna put a link for it right up there i definitely suggest you go and check it out because we got into some of the geodes that i uh recently collected at um the creek i found out in western illinois near the mississippi river um so it was the first time cracking those geodes here on the channel for you guys and it was a lot of fun this guy right here was the last geode that we cracked and it was a big double and there's something pretty cool about this one watch so check this out technically i think you could call it a triple because this little guy up here but we're just gonna crack it right along this way All right, everybody's gotta say, say a prayer to the rock gods, almighty Thor. Oh, I'm so nervous! Ah! Lose my grip on it. We're okay, we're okay, come on baby. Ah, uh, no! Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. But this guy. Oh, what up, Travis? Look at this. So, it's full of calcite. And it's a little harder to see on this piece. But... That calcite is filling some really beautiful looking botryoidal chalcedony under there. Look at that blue hiding under there. So guess what guys? We're gonna have another acid video coming up very, very soon. And these these were just the pieces that came apart. Wait till you see the side that stayed together. Look at all that. So all that calcite, we are gonna melt out of there, exposing that beautiful, beautiful uh, chalcedony underneath. So as we just saw in that clip, this guy right here is chock full of calcite. So, you know what that means. 
That means we are gonna take these things, we're gonna get them outside, and we are going to dissolve all of that calcite out with some muriatic acid. So let's head outside. All right, guys, we are getting ready. We are about to head outside and we are about to get started on melting the calcite out of these geodes using the muriatic acid. But since we are going to be using muriatic acid, there are a couple things I wanna go over first that are very crucial to keeping you and your stones safe to avoiding any injuries or burns or things like that because this stuff is very, very corrosive. As we are about to see, we are using it to completely melt away a crystal. So it is definitely going to affect your skin, your eyes, your mouth, your breathing if you let this stuff interact with you the way it is not intended. So I'm gonna show you guys some things here on the screen, some pictures of the proper protective equipment, better known as PPE, that you guys need when you're using this method to clean your stones. Closed toed shoes are very important because your stones reaction to the acid can be vigorous and can splash. A respirator or face mask is crucial because the fumes emitted by the reaction to the acid is toxic. Safety glasses or goggles are a must because as we mentioned, this can splash and there are nasty fumes. Long rubber gloves are important when putting your stones in or taking them out of the acid to avoid any skin contact. Not only is a neutral bath for soaking our stones after the acid, we can also use this in case any skin comes in contact with acid. Long metal tongs are important for transferring our stones from the acid to the neutral bath safely. All right, so now that that is all said and done and taken care of and i feel a little bit better if you try and mimic my methods or anything like that that you've got a little bit of a better understanding on how to protect yourself and how to protect your stones let's get outside here we are we are back inside of the shop unfortunately we ran out of sunlight for the day the sun is still out but it's hiding behind some clouds so we're in the shop where we got some a little bit better lighting going on but we've got the three pieces here that you saw earlier we put inside of that muriatic acid so we did end up soaking these for 45 minutes in the muriatic acid and a good rule of thumb is however long it takes you to soak them or however long they're in the acid you want to have twice as long in the neutral bath which you guys saw earlier which was just a bucket with some water and baking soda so these soaked for 45 minutes in the acid and then they spent an hour and a half in that neutral bath so they are good and ready to go we've already sprayed them down and scrubbed them a little bit so nothing to be concerned about with me handling them with my hands but guys these things are crazy so we're gonna start off with this half here, which has got some absolutely beautiful botryoidal chalcedony inside. We have a little bit of quartz up in this part of the pocket as well. Really, really beautiful. So beautiful. And then moving on, we've got this guy right here. And this was the side I wasn't sure what was gonna be inside and I was pleasantly surprised. Look at that. First off, this is just beautiful to begin with. And then we mentioned this little like 
shelf there, which is absolutely nuts. So stinking beautiful. I'm gonna try my best to get some photographs out in any bit of sun that I can get today so you guys can see them at the end in the sunlight. We are gonna adjust the camera here just a little bit because like I said, this was a double, but unfortunately this half broke. This half, however, did not. All right, sorry, had to pause for a car alarm, but this was the bigger half, the double. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. I had no idea how deep the cavities were gonna be inside of these. I had no idea what was gonna be truly hiding underneath that calcite. I had my suspicions of it being botryoidal calcedony, given on what we were able to see a little bit while there was still the calcite in there, but I hope you guys were as surprised by these as I was because, wow, what a difference. I've got to say. <clears throat> because these things are amazing. So awesome. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel and this is the first video of mine that you are watching, I really hope that you consider subscribing, clicking that bell notification, and setting it to all because we've got videos coming out four times a week. Monday and Thursdays, we've got videos at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Saturdays, we go live at 8.30 Central Standard Time for some geo cracking. And then Sundays, we normally have a follow-up video, which I know yesterday we did not see the follow-up from these guys because I was waiting to do this. So this weekend's follow-up video will actually be coming out tomorrow. So be excited for that, guys. There's so much happening. I finally have full control back in my shop. It is decluttered. The saw is ready to go. I was already cutting some stuff earlier today. The polisher is all set. There's a whole bunch of awesome things coming. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, right about now, you'll be enjoying some sunlight photos of these beautiful things. Take care.